Now for this last part, I've redefined our random variable x to be the number of defective components where x is distributed binomially and I've altered the value of n. n to 250. So it's 250 and then the probability still remains the same of getting a defective component as 0.01. So we've got to use a suitable approximation then to find the probability that in a batch of 250 components that there's between 1 and 4 inclusive defective components. So what is this suitable approximation going to be? Well in cases where n is large, normally greater than 50, and p, the probability of success here, is less than 0.1, we can use a Poisson approximation. So what I'm going to write here then is essentially that first of all, since n is greater than 50, and the probability of success is less than 0.1. This condition allows us to say that therefore x is distributed as a Poisson distribution with a mean of lambda approximately. Okay. Now what is lambda? Lambda the mean. Well where lambda is equal to NP. That's the expected value or mean that we get from the binomial distribution. So in our case then, n being 250, it's multiplied by p of 0.01. And what does that give us? It gives us 2.5. There's also another condition that you can use as a rule of thumb, that if np, the mean of a binomial, is less than 10, which it is, 2.5, then that's another rule that people sometimes use to approximate a binomial to a Poisson. So what we've got then is that therefore x is distributed just roughly then as a Poisson distribution with a mean of 2.5. I'll just write approximately there. So how are we going to work out this probability? Well, we can say that, that this is the same as the probability that x is less than or equal to 4 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 0. We don't want to include that 1. So the values that are in between here will be 1, 2, 3 and 4. And to work these out, we can use the cumulative Poisson probability tables. And just look up these two values. Now I've taken an extract from those tables, we'll just bring them up here, okay? And you can see then that the probability that x is less than or equal to 4 is 0 0.8912. Just look in your tables where lambda is 2.5. Look down under x equals 4 and you should find then you've got 0 0.8912. And then look across for x equals 0 and you've got 0 0.0821. And if you subtract those two values from one another, you end up with 0 0.8091. And because we're using tables, we should really cut this down a bit. So we'll go to three decimal places. This is going to be 0 0.809, okay, to three dp, three decimal places. So I hope that's given you some idea then. And uh, that brings us now to the end of this question.